From across the land, 12 teams have been vying for English rugby's ultimate prize, and there are only two candidates left. One of those, Harlequins, have never reached a Premiership final before, so with that in mind, Lord Durden Smith has sent me here to assess their credentials. Dick, what are we doing here today? I don't know what I'm doing, to be fair. <laughs> You're talking another language to me here. Going to do some baking and then go out in the streets and sell them and try and raise some money for the RPA Benevolent Fund and uh, Sport Relief. Just like, goes quick and... Oh yeah, it does. Yeah. Very manly stuff, I must say. I've got a new appreciation for, like, mums. My nan gave me a little trick that I think might win us this, lad. I see by your CV that you've reached your first Premiership final. Can you begin to describe how that feels? Um, yeah, very exciting. Coming top of the Premiership wasn't a great thing for us. And, uh, you know, getting through the semi-final and now to be in the final for the first time, um, yeah, I think the boys are buzzing. This is what we've been concentrating on all season. It's massive for everyone. But, you know, we won't be daunted by the occasion. You know, we'll look forward to it and just enjoy it. I'm more nervous than I am playing a game. Are you going by the exact recipe? I must be looking like a complete idiot. <laughs> Unless you have been there time and time again, do you see yourself as the apprentice? Yeah, nice. Like what we've done there, the, the benchmark of the Premiership Rugby. We're definitely going to be the underdogs. I don't think many of us have been in that many finals, so, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be going on probably raw emotion. Get out. Get out. Get out. Whoa, it's a bit, ten a bit tense in here, lads. A bit tense. Is yours in the oven already? Yep. No, don't open it. I know there's one rule. You don't open the door when it's when the cakes are in. We love to throw the ball around. Everyone knows that. It's, uh, it's something that we, uh, we try and do all the time. But uh, I think we're experienced enough now as a group to know that if we have to tighten up uh, to win a game ugly, then we can do that. It's all well and good. The fans keep coming back and saying, oh, you play great rugby, but you, you don't win anything. But we've had to work on our scrum and our more and uh, as well as being able to you know, get around the park and fling it about and entertain people, which is what we want to do, but we also want to win stuff. My cakes are burning! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 He's ruined it. What's going on? That's it. You've only won two of your last 28 Premiership matches against Leicester. Great stats. <laughs> Great stats. <laughs> I need to do my homework. Um, what do we read into that? Nothing. One thing I learned about being in finals is uh, stats can go straight out the window and uh, it just comes down to who wants it more on the day. So what's the plan? Just go out there and play, play our normal game and try and not, you know, get too overwhelmed by, by a final. The most important thing for us if we're going to do well in this final is to, to not sit back and let things happen. Uh, we're going to have to go out and grab it uh, if we want to win it. So they've shown their creativity in the kitchen. Now to the field of play. Only 80 minutes remain for the candidates to stake their claim.